If you want to go point something at an 80 year old woman's face, paint it first. Make sure it's not red on the tip. <laughs> oh. Welcome to News Bag. 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 Alright, here we are again. Can't believe it. Back for series three, aren't we? I'm here with Hannah. Hello. And Jamie. Hello. And you're listening to News Bag, aren't you? With a podcast that looks at the news and goes, hmm, you're a bit shit, but have a go. Let's see what you've got, you got to say. To be fair, it's a good summary. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right, yeah. Um, Hannah, do you want to explain what you've done there with the bell? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to test if it still works. So, um, for those of you who remembered in uh, Series 2, where there was a whole three episodes, we decided to do a different format, mm-hmm. um, make it into a little game. Um, so, I'm going to be the judge. I feel like I've got a good judge in a yeah. good um, game show. Yeah. Um, so, we're going to have three rounds. And a bad game show. So There's going to be a, a news game round. Um, yeah. We'll explain about that in a moment. Then we're going to have <laughs> local stories, where we just tell you rubbish local stories, and then I pick my favourite rubbish story as the judge. Mine, this time, so. Yeah. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Hannah's just sort of straight into like you know planning mode is like right, here's what's coming up get ready listeners I've had a year a year a year of, a year of waiting for this has it really been a year it's my big moment it has actually been a year yeah. it doesn't feel like a year since we all sat around this table it's over a year since we sat around the table last time I was at home wasn't I yeah you were we did a zoom one didn't we yeah do you think Jamie's voice has changed in the last year something sounds different uh, I have got cold still <laughs> Um, I thought I'd be better by now because it's been like a week. No. But um, yeah, I'm still a bit bassy, I'm afraid. <laughs> That's okay. You might hear the odd cough. Well, I know people like a sound of a bassy voice, don't they? There we go. Sounds good on the radio. You're welcome, listeners, actually. So. Yeah. Little um, treat. I think he's putting it on for this. Yeah. Also, Claire, Claire, it out. <laughs> yeah. Claire said it was just man flu. Oh, yeah, true. She always does. <laughs> Uh, anyway, back to my planning. Oh, yeah. planning. Round three, everyone will be pleased to know, will be uh, the return of headlines. Yeah. Do you remember when you said head spines? No. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> it did. Little in jokes. If you haven't listened to back to the previous seasons, you wouldn't have got that, so that's what you missed out. Give him a listen. Give him a listen. Give him a listen. Subscribe and like the video. Um, nice. That's what YouTubers say, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you one person who will, who's been absolutely begging for us to come back. Go on. Uh, good old Phil Reynolds, our biggest fan, Phil Reynolds. Yes, Classic. I love Phil Reynolds. I tell you what, so I put our pro, our past episodes up on YouTube, and immediately, like one less than a minute in, comment from Phil. <laughs> I don't even know how he found it. So I think what? one of us is paying him because, like, <laughs> so she's been a fan since the start. Without Phil, we'd be nothing. Yeah, I like to think just sort of once a day, he just sort of googles news bags, see if there's anything new. This is any news? Yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah, one other person as well. Really excited. Happened to uh, you know. She was just having a bath. Not where I thought that was going. No, me neither. Sarah was just in the bath and then was pretty concerned to hear my voice. <laughs> Is Sarah really like, uh, she's not your boss, but in your team? Uh, yeah, in my team. Yeah, work with Sarah. Hmm? And she was having a bath with some podcasts. Finished. And then my voice came on. She said she nearly jumped out of the bath, scared. She's like, <laughs> that is terrifying. Why is in here? That's terrifying. Imagine I'd be scared and I live with you. Yeah. I bet she wasn't overly shocked though. She was scared, sure. But it's like, oh, Chris probably would do this. Yeah. I, I don't think I'd put her at ease. I don't think I'd helped her into the bath. I think it was probably unnerving. Yeah. Well, if you listen, Sarah, just light a candle. <laughs> yeah. Slip out of those uh, work oh. clothes and... Turn the bubbles up. Turn the you bubbles up. The spout. Turn the volume up. You're going to have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Jamie, look like you're going to say something then. Yeah. All right. Um, well, I just thought, you know, it's been a year. Have we not got any news? Oh, right. I didn't do anything last year. I've done nothing. But this might be the best time that I need to actually ask you something, Chris. Right. I'm worried. So, yes, you are allowed to join us on the podcast again. Brilliant, thank you. No, you know how you two are getting married? Yeah. I'm worried. It still hasn't happened, has it? No. And, we'll get there. Um, you're having a stag do. Yeah. Yeah. But that would be mental. Oh, lads. Ooh. Loads, loads, loads. Messy one. Well, the way it was organised was through like a poll of what dates are people available. Yeah. And I was really busy at work. So I quickly messaged Claire and I said, are we doing anything between these dates? She said, no. I was like, brilliant. So I'll just tick 
that I'm available for all of them. Cool. Yeah, you done. Tick them all. There's no doubt. Cool. I'll see you there then, Jamie. Can't wait. Tick them all. So, moves on. It gets booked. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, fine. What I didn't do was I didn't put two and two together. And one of those days right. is actually Claire's birthday. <laughs> oh, right, okay. But when you check with Claire, saying, are we doing anything? She said, no, it was that a test. She's tested you. And you've... And I've big time failed. <laughs> you've hugely failed. <laughs> mm. But, oh, no, you're going to be listening to this. I'm so sorry. What was I mean, to? Well, let, don't apologise on Jamie's behalf. Jamie, do you, have you got something to say? Well, I mean, who books a three-day stag do anyway? <laughs> <laughs> In Simon's defence, Simon's my best man who's... In this. I bet you asked for that though, didn't you? Thinking you self centered, yeah, big man on campus. I, like, I want, I demand the biggest, most dramatic stag do. No, it's because you can't book uh, the I think we're going to we're renting out like caravans, mm. and uh, that's the bit of a booking link. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'll if you're okay with this, I'll come on the Friday, stay over, leave early Saturday. Okay. Celebrate a birthday. <laughs> come back Saturday evening. <laughs> spend Sunday together. Are you sure this is a plan that Claire's on board with as well? <laughs> well, do you know what? Because Claire is such a wonderful wife, okay, she said. She said, "Don't worry about it. You can spend the whole weekend oh. with the lads." All oh, right. But I would like to do the right thing and spend the day with Claire. Okay. Fair enough. He's really matured this year, Jamie has. Oh, yeah. I've had a lot of reflecting time. Yeah, fair enough. So... Oh, a year with your wife, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she tells me. What. That's a good yeah. sign, though. A year with, you know, and you still want to spend the day with her, so... Yep. Exactly. Good sign. A lot of relationships probably didn't survive. Okay. So, round one? Yes. Round one. What are we going to do? Yeah. Um, so, round one, the news game. Um, so, for those of you who can't remember, um, our good, I was going to say good listeners, they're just friends. They listen because they have to. Um, Emily Ray and Mark brought us a news game um, uh, last couple of Christmases ago, and we figured it is very fitting for the podcast. So, round one, I'm going to ask Chris to randomly pick one of the cards in front of him. Yeah. Him and Jamie are going to look at the card. Okay. And I want one of you to try and convince me that it's true and one of you to convince me that it's fake news. Yeah, I mean, half the cards are real, half are fake. Are you done? Can I read it then? What? What? Okay, yeah, let's both read it silently, shall we? That'll be a good podcast. Oh, I came before the stories even come out. So Jamie's trying to look. Well, one of us should read it out. Just silent. It's good to be the You read it, it because um, oh, my voice. Okay, uh, right. Man spends a year inside a Fiat Panda. That's a car. I don't think that's a real car. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, sure it's another animal name, a Fiat. So if there's I, a Fiat Punto as well. There's a, there's a lot of Fiats. Yeah. So if I take the case for, okay. you know, I'll be the I'll be the for d- defendant and Jamie or the uh, other one. What's Chris, it called? Accuser. Chris has got a hard job because he's got to convince me that that is a real car before anything else. It is. A man, in, well, it wouldn't be news if it wasn't a car. A man in France has won a bet with friends by spending an entire year inside a Fiat Panda. Ten friends all offered to give Hugo Diaz 1,000 euros if he could complete the feat, and a local betting firm doubled the tally and sponsored the challenge. After winning the bet, Diaz has had to spend a week building the muscles up in his legs to be able to walk. <laughs> so that's real or fake? Um, I think that, Do you have any problems with that, Jamie? I don't see anything wrong with that. Oh, everything wrong with it. What? Because it's obviously fake. Why is it obvious? I imagine, okay, they would have let him out to go for a wheeze and... Oh, so he's out all of a sudden. He's been bet to stay in the car for a year. Uh, Do you know one of my first problems? Yeah. I feel like the name is made up because it just sounds like Cargan does ice cream. That's all, <laughs> that's all I can think about now. All you can ever think about. I didn't hear cream. any past his name. I didn't hear any words. So I'm basically going man in a car for a year. Your mind is always on ice cream. Yeah. I, I would have thought he would have got a little bit more. So it turned out to be 2,000 euros because the betting firm doubled it. If, you're, if that was your job... <laughs> Minimum wage. It's not but minimum. are you saying, like, he just didn't get out of the car for a year? I imagine he slept in there, just spent his free time, but probably got out for a week now and again. See, I don't think he did. Why? Because at the end it says he had to rework his legs because they weren't working. Yeah, good point. Well, he possibly probably got a um, pissed out the window. What's talking about? They bring him a little bucket. And what about the other? He just he just honks the horn and they bring him a bucket, bring him some food. <laughs> Who's they? Has he just got like... In fact, his mate, he could drive around and visit his friends, just wipe the window down. How's it going? Doesn't even miss out on social life. 
Does it say if it's sta- if you were stationary or if you did drive around? Uh, also, why wouldn't you pick a bigger car? Because I think I know what they are now, aren't they really small? Yeah. You just spent an entire year inside a Fiat Panda. They're quite small, yeah. You would have had to put the seat down to... Here's why it's false. How's he showering? Mm-hmm. Here's why it's false. He's earning less than minimum wage there, I believe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's gonna, but he's going to do that for a year. How do you know he's not... How's he getting food? Well, I was saying, he'd be bringing it through the window. Chris is looking worried. But it's like, how's a prisoner get food? They bring it to him. Yeah, but they get paid to do that. Are you telling me, right, if I said I'm going to sit in a car for a whole year, mm. are you going to come and give me food every night? You're going to get bored of that after a couple of days. That's a really good point. It's, it's, it's not going to be the, the friend who bet a thousand euros is helping exactly. it out. But you have never been on a really nice dry road trip, and yeah. you're like, yeah, I can, yeah, I'm happy in here, I'm happy in the car driving about, I'm loving it. Don't want to but no, I've never gone, mm, I'm going to stay in here for a year. A year is a long time. This is what I'm struggling. I'm struggling with the name, as we know. You go and ice cream. My second problem is a year. If you just said like a, a few months, I think I'd have been quite on mm. board. But a year is a long time. What was the betting? So he just got bet to do it. Yeah, a thousand well, pounds. But a betting firm. A thousand actually. euros per ten friends. So that's ten grand. So he's saying okay. Ten friends. All oh, right, ten friends all offered to give him a thousand euros. Yeah, you're right. Ten thousand euros. Did he? So, <laughs> that makes sense. Sounds incredible. No, it doesn't. Because that's ten grand. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's too many numbers. So he's accepted it for ten thousand euros. Yeah, doubled by a betting firm. Yeah, but he didn't know that at the time, did he? Ladbrokes. So unless he didn't have a job and thought, how about this? A, a month in, he decided it's too much. He wasn't be able to do it. Then Ladbrokes came along and go, "We're loving this. Why are they loving it? We'll double it. We'll think of all that." Um, like he's like sponsoring it, isn't it? He, they can put <laughs> Ladbrokes can put their name on the side of his car, put him in a little hat. Right. Also, <laughs> the hat. Also, what does it say at the top? Jamie, can you forgot what the belt means? Sorry. Right. Okay. <laughs> Jamie was really cheap. Jamie was terrified. Um, in one sentence, aren't you, Jamie, to tell me why this story is not true? No way to eat. No way to go to the toilet. Too little money. Chris, mm-hmm. same request, but tell me it's true. Loads of money. They can bring him food. Easiest job ever. Just sit there. Um, do you not think his legs would have fallen off? Well, astronauts can like do leg stuff, can't they? No showers. No, he didn't have a shower. No one's coming near him, though, so it doesn't matter. I really... Oh God, from the from the get-go, when I didn't know if that was a real car, then the name... I, I can't. I'm, I'm going to have to say that this is false fake news. You're going for fake. False fake news, wait there. False fake news. That would make it true. <laughs> I'm going to go that this is fake news. Man spends the year inside a Fiat Panda. As you can see, fake. Yes. Got it, right hand. Oh, yeah. I could see it in Chris's eyes if I'm honest like he was just yeah. looking so scared he was like how can I do this that's a ridiculous story isn't it of course <laughs> yeah, that is a long time so who gets a point in this uh, situation probably me <sighs> well yeah I'm um, the judge aren't I well, ask you. you could choose. yeah I suppose so yeah and to be fair Chris I do I could feel I could sense it <laughs> I could sense it <laughs> the fear you look really nervous Point to Jamie. Point to Jamie. Exciting. Nice. Uh, probably should log it somewhere. I'll try and keep it in my head. Yeah. See yeah. how how far we get. Are you literally sitting in front of a laptop? Yeah, but I'm like Richard Osman on the point is it's not actually on. Wait there. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> <Yeah. on. laughs> to Jamie. It's on now. One to Jamie. I've put. Oh. Okay, yeah. Um, before we go on to local stories which I hope you've both pre- prepared for you've had a year yeah, don't <laughs> um, and I will be taking into account the fact you've had a year in marking of these stories so if right. it feels like anyone did this after work they um, no, no, no. came today then no. that might get noticed uh, but before we do that there's an important return oh what is that oh. what's coming back Oh, I can hear it. Snap bag, isn't it? Woo-hoo! Snap fan, bag. Fan favourite oh, snap bag. I nearly bought a snack in Tesco's and then I remembered last minute. <laughs> last minute. I'd have been really offended if you'd have bought your own snack. That's why I didn't buy one. Oh, I love a snack bag. This is, this is where we just got a bag of some snacks in. Who's got reaching in? Snacks. Um, so I was going to say for anyone who you know doesn't know what a snack bag is. Yeah. It's kind of says it, doesn't it? But it's a bag with some snacks in. Yeah. And I get one of you to, to reach in, yeah. delve into the I bag. S- I stole your thunder, didn't I? Correct. Um, pick out a snack and we just eat it. Yeah. It basically, when we said we we're going to do a podcast, it I was the way to tempt me in was that there would be yeah. involved. So we haven't talked. We haven't talked about. I'm ice. a bit worried. What? Because there's one that I don't want. I really want one of the other two. <laughs> Great. I'm just going to be really like. I'm going to be really like, annoyed <laughs> if if that one comes out. Yeah, but I've done it to myself. So um, uh, go on, Jamie. 
digging what's, deep. What's been your favourite snack so far, Chris? Ah, oh, what are those um, covered peanuts with like chili? Ah, oh, crispy got? chili peanuts. Crispy chili peanuts. You've lost something like that. that. They were they were so good. Mm. They're really dunkables for me. Oh, yeah, they were good. I forgot about them. That was quite a different oh, snack. Oh, not dunkables. Isn't it? The cheese yeah. triangles. What's he going to call them? He's taking his time. His hands are. Yeah. Oh, he has as well. I mean, was it obvious, Jamie, what that was? As soon as I grabbed it, I was like, I know what this is. Go on. But I didn't know what flavour, obviously. What are you holding in your hand? Texas Barbecue Pringles. Yes. Nice. I'm so, so happy that you chose that one. And that made it more stressful that I knew that that was Pringles and then thinking, <laughs> is this what Hannah wants or not? Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> no one would ever not want Pringles, though, would they? Good point. Yeah. Let's have a Pring. So Chris actually mentioned Pringles the other day and it clicked in my mind that we've never had Pringles as a snack bag item, which is... Oh, yeah. Which is pretty Let's see if I can make it pop. Sound like a fart. I was a letdown, to be honest. Hang on. <laughs> so I wish I'd have got your face on camera then, Jamie. Brilliant. <sighs> When's your puppy can't stop? Yeah, well, I'm starting to give me the oh. yep. noisy snack there, isn't it? I've not thought that through. Pass me the leave. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to have one more crunch before we get going. Yeah. I know it's going to be really annoying. Is yeah. it like? Well I've not thought it through. <laughs> <laughs> just put this out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is going to go out. Okay, so... Well, people... oh. Round two. Mm-hmm. Um, so round two, local stories. I guess this round's been kind of inspired by where we started um, out with our podcast, which is um, rubbish, pointless stories around Norfolk that we can't really believe in news. Yeah. Or, you know, some we've had a lot of mysteries. We've had um, yeah. celebrity spotting. Yeah. All the important stuff that people need to hear. Are we fine for your kind of your favourite? And we get a point. Yeah. Then yeah. you're going your to love my one more. No. So yeah, basically at the end I'll just I'll just have a little thing. I'm gonna sit here eating Pringles, have a little think, and I will choose my favourite story. So um Oh she done one about Harvard does now. Oh, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> You're always thinking about it. <laughs> um Chris, I would like to hear your story. Okay. Here is a fantastic story. Uh, published yesterday in the EDP. That's recent. Uh, yesterday being May the twenty sixth. Oh that's true, it won't be yesterday but we're recording on the twenty seventh of May. Yeah. Uh, so Robert with gun storms off before getting an 11 year sentence Robert Ro- Ro- Robert mm. Robert that's changed is not it <laughs> can you say it again because <laughs> I can't I didn't listen to any words again I had you, Robert you, you couldn't go over Robert <laughs> Robert with gun storms off before getting an 11 year sentence Ooh. angry uh, so here we go a dangerous offender armed with a gun who held up two village stores and tried to rob an 80 year old stormed out before handing being handed 11 year sentence you've not learned a lot more there from the headline can yeah. I stop you one minute yeah you're thinking I mean, at the minute I'm just a bit like it's quite a serious story yeah it is mm. it does seem it well this is it there's the twist don't worry is there a twist or is this one of those stories where you've read the headline and then I have to read the not record. prepared the rest and you should read the rest at, at the time you got to the end of the story and thought like someone through, died or we spent 10 years and then committed suicide <laughs> so. oh, Jamie what's your story uh, no so Lewis Orford 30. Yes, the age is back. Age. <laughs> the age. the age. Was appearing over a link from Norwich Prison when he interrupted the judge to say it was not dangerous as it was a toy gun. Wow. Yes. Okay. How are you feeling now? So that he waved, he then waved goodbye and walked out of the hearing at Norwich <laughs> Crown Court. I can do it. He actually just waved goodbye. <laughs> but he wasn't there. He was on a link. What did he do? Wave at the camera and then turn his back? <laughs> I hope he was on a swivel chair and said <laughs> bye and then just sw- swung around. There's a toy gun. See you later. <sighs> oh, hold on. Oh, go, go, go back. What? So he'd been arrested. He was in court for this thing they'd done, which yeah. they thought was like Robin. Yeah. Not yeah, Robin. Yeah. They thought it was Robin Places. And he'd only announced the toy bit here. He's like, he's not, yeah. Well, I think they probably um, thought it was a real one. That's why he got taken to court. Oh, is that not okay either? To like... I don't know, can you go and rob a village store with a toy gun? Is that still a crime? Well, yeah, because you're still robbing a village yeah, store, not, aren't you? You're still going in. Uh, you he... don't even need the toy gun, do you? No, no, you can just okay. go in with nothing and go, I want the money. It's yeah. still an ex- extremely uh, yeah. serious story. Yeah, yeah true. Okay. <laughs> but, well, we will hear what happens. I think you'll enjoy what the 80 year old customer that he tried to rob did. So, <laughs> the court heard her orphan armed himself with a plastic gun and held up heart stores and a post office in Cossie, pointing the weapon at staff and demanding cash from the till. He also pointed a gun at an 80-year-old customer. He should be terrified. Yeah. But she refused to hand over her purse. Good old lady. 
on Edith. <laughs> Edith is probably Good like what? I I'm, I'm not gonna I've seen real guns in my time. She knew I reckon. Yeah. Streetwise. She took one look. She's like, nah, my mm-hmm. husband fought in Iraq. What's that? Yeah, what's yeah. that? Water gun. Quite a young husband. <laughs> really <laughs> That's just I that history knowledge. <laughs> Um, apparently Orford fled empty handed but then 20 minutes later struck again but she also refused to hand over cash so he stole a charity box containing £40 can I just ask was this toy gun like pink or something yeah I wish I had a photo the only picture it's got is of him because uh, okay. why is everyone just letting it happen are you yeah. terrified if that happened and it looked like a real gun you um, wouldn't you'd give him or you'd give him the money I would I wonder if because toy guns have to have like a red tip don't they so you know it's not a real gun oh really so I wonder if maybe he didn't paint it well maybe so then people are like no I'm not giving you any money that's not a gun because <laughs> if not it's not worth I know, not never knew, money. knew that about the, that's a good tip isn't it for what? everyone yeah what? oh hang on I'm not I'm not saying paint your guns before you go <laughs> you heard that's it not a first. tip if you want to go rob it's just a fact <laughs> if you want to go point something at an 80 year old woman's face paint it first make sure it's not red on the tip <laughs> oh <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to go with the rest it's just about the sentence but he um, yeah his defendant was like his defending lawyer said he just used it as a bluff and he was desperate because he owed £5,000 uh, drugs debt bit sad yeah I knew really. this was going to happen I knew I could feel it that <laughs> was going to happen like, and the bit that I was like oh this is okay was when he like waved about it. is there any more about that bit <laughs> about the bit where he like waved and went off the call just that he he waved goodbye and walked out the hearing he wasn't there he was on link was he on link or was he in the court you get frustrated at your own story yeah no well no I'm frustrated <laughs> looks frustrated but then just <laughs> the rest of the sentencing <laughs> continued in his absence I just like to think the link is still on and it's just showing the back of his head <laughs> And he's just there, like, you know. Or maybe he's just got, he's got out of the room, but he's still there, like, That's just around the corner wondering what's going on. <laughs> That's reminded me of a, yeah, did any of you see in lockdown, as a slight aside, the um, video call with the lawyer where we had the cat filter on? Yeah. Oh, it was so good. So one. good. Um, I'm not a cat, don't worry. That's the best bit that he has <laughs> to say. It was almost like, of course you're not a cat. Like <laughs> <laughs> That bit we know, that bit we're very sure of. Oh, that and the, the parish council oh, dang. Um, <laughs> video. It's Jackie been a Weaver. bit of crazy year, hasn't it? I love that they're the two things we've remembered after the last year, <laughs> Jackie Weaver and a cat. <laughs> That was a bit of an emotional roller coaster for me. Yeah, no, I just couldn't tell where it was going. I was worried for you, like all good stories, because I thought like it was going to be this disaster story, and we'd all have to just not laugh and go serious. <laughs> then the wave thing happened, and I was like, I like that. Mm, that was good. And then I don't know. I'm left feeling confused. So I'm going to mull it over. No. Jamie, uh, actually, before you do, can I just eat a crisp quickly? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have a crisp. I have a little cough. <laughs> <coughs> no, it's good. Listen, just go and make a tea or something. <laughs> all right, come back. Are we ready? Um, I swallowed a crisp. Um, Jamie, yeah. um, have you got a story? I've got a story. I like to think of my story uh, as a snack because it's in the bag for me this week. You know what he's done there? He has tried to be, he's tried to get me on side yeah, and blame it into a snack. It, I like, it. but it's also a bit sneaky, so we'll see. I don't think that's sneaky. I think yeah, Chris was in the room when I said it. Yeah, I don't so. know what nefarious tactics, but. You enjoyed it a little bit as well, Chris. I saw it in your, in your eyes. All right. I'll give you a three out of five. My one. Now. I'm going to start with saying nobody was out in this new story. Royal Mail Lorry crashes through wall into Norwich Park. All right. That's the headline. Okay. Wow. What's not in this new story is that it was outside my house. What? Uh, what? It was outside my house. Is that, was that actually? You, actually was. Did is you, it, like, see it or is, was it in a paper? You don't even know a post of it, do you? Royal oh. Mail <laughs> Lorry. Oh, God. Do you think a Royal Mail post office crashed into a park? <laughs> it's like the shed on wheels all over again. Shop on wheels. Shop on wheels. I didn't have anything. I was just thinking about Pringles. <laughs> so uh, a, lorry, a lorry crashed into a wall near your house. Yeah. Okay, into good. a park. Yeah. Wait, so before you carry on, are yeah. you reading something out for me from a paper or are you reading your personal account of something that happened outside your house? This is from the EDP. Well, Jamie, I hope you know the letter of the law. Oh, God. So... Oh, I just got it. Yeah. Chris is going to have a point for that. That was first class. Nice. You have a point for that, Chris. You missed that. Hannah. 
I quite liked it. <laughs> <laughs> you did, Jamie's. No, no, you missed, she's missed it. What? Listen back, here it is. That was first class, I said to Chris. <laughs> oh, actually, that is good, yeah. I like your joke. You, second class. You can't go on. You can have a point each for you, Why? Jamie. Point each. Jamie's reading this from the EDP. Here we go. A much-loved mural, your which, voice. that's not a fact, was destroyed after a Royal Mail lorry careered through a wall into an Orange Park. Yeesh. Was the mural, it wasn't on your house, was it, the mural? No, it was... It was on a wall where the park is. You do live near It was wall. relatively new, the mural. The I wouldn't say it was well-loved, because I don't think loads of people have seen it. Fire crews from Carrow and Sproulston were called to the scene shortly after to assist the ambulance service. Mm. Significant damage could be seen to the front of the lorry as recovery work was underway at around 9am. <laughs> what I will say was, I left at 8.30, and that was going on then. Oh, was it? Okay. So Did it wasn't it? Did you hear the impact? No, I was asleep. It was at 6am. I was quite surprised I didn't wake up because that would have made a right old racket. Got a question though. How do you know what time it was if you were asleep? Say. So. Because there's a news report in front of me that says it was at 6am. Hit the bell. Hit the bell, Han. Oh, yeah. like I'm, ho- I'm hovering, but not yet. I mean, it says here. No, right. <laughs> it hit, hit, hit around 6am well also says that about a post office you don't about, where, where did 9am come in this is when the fire engines are you listening to the story <laughs> as I read it guys I'll let you carry on as recovery work was underway at around 9am yeah I can't l- not laugh at Jamie's voice it sounds like he's trying to read us a bedtime story let's <laughs> <laughs> give us some more like dry salty snack <laughs> now get yourself comfortable <laughs> and listen <sighs> right so Rubble could be seen scattered across the grass, That's a surprise. It, including brickwork and metal railings. Yeah, I'd be surprised if there wasn't that. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. They're quite big, presumably, a Royal Mail. Um, they are pretty big. Was I'll show you a picture in a minute. Everywhere? Did the post go open? Or didn't no. pop open the lorry? No, it didn't pop open. Um, pop open? <laughs> it wasn't the right phrase. So pop, do you mean, did the door swing open? Uh, and, like, yeah, I think a, I... <laughs> a swathe of parcels came out. As I said it, I realised my head was still on the Pringles as well. <laughs> oh, it's not the food. Now, that's the end of the story. Right, for... Jesus. In the EDP. I've got more news. Have you... Is, is this actually the first time that Jamie is... Because this is right by your house, so you could have... Go on and um, investigate this yourself. I went out to investigate. Oh my god, I cannot wait. Did you take a clipboard? I didn't. I did have my iPad on me, but I didn't need to take any notes. Okay. So basically, the police had cordoned off the area. Yeah. Um, so public can't go through. Yeah. Cyclists go through though, doesn't it? Oh. Did you take your bike? No, not me. What? Just a random person on a bike. Yeah. Police stopped him. Sorry, mate. Did you not see the signs? <laughs> How yeah. are you hearing all this? <laughs> I'm out there. I'm in it. In the midst. <laughs> he's at, he's I'm in getting the, involved. He's in the thick of it, Han. I yeah. can't believe this. this. This isn't the same story that Han and your dad lifted, oh, up, yeah. lifted up a police tape and just walked into a crime yeah. scene. Yeah, you talked about that once, didn't you? Did I? Yeah. 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 Maybe that was my dad on the bike. Could have been. Yeah. Um, and the guy was like, yeah, but I've got to go all the way round. <laughs> you know, yeah, point. you've got to go all the way round. And he went, nah. <laughs> and he went, go back. He he pretty much got the whole way through. The police officer made him go back. I was like, you legend. That's just amazing, because the thing is, Jamie could be completely making this up. Well, yeah, we have no... It's a weird thing to make up. But... It's a weird thing to make up. Yeah. I mean, if I was going to make something up, I'd be like, I pushed the van out or something. <laughs> um, but here's the best thing... Okay. ...about this story. Mm-hmm. One of the parcels was... Here's a picture. Can you explain what that picture is? All yeah, right. Go on, Chris. Explain away. Uh, yeah, well, it's a lorry on its side, isn't it? Yeah. But I can see a lot of metal around so it. Ca- looking at that, I am surprised it's not mm. popped open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the caption of this is, a Royal Mail lorry crashed through a wall Might in Rosary old. Road, Norwich, on Monday morning. Okay? Mm. So there's that one picture. Can anyone see this picture? All right, it's the second picture. It looks like the same thing from a different angle, but... The They've taken the lorry away. The lorry's gone, yeah. The caption is... A Royal Mail lorry crashed through a wall in Rosary Road, Norwich, on Monday morning. But that's the same. That's the same caption. Also, there's no evidence of a lorry in that photo. Yeah, Can could you see this anything. picture? <laughs> yeah, what? Again. Is that zoomed out again? No lorry still. Just just picture of the rubble. Don't say the caption, I don't. Same caption. <laughs> is, this, is this all on the same? That's so unimaginative. <laughs> picture of the lorry. <laughs> okay, is, that that was, a, l- is that it being towed away? That's it being towed away. And there's another one below it being towed away. <laughs> there's another picture of it being towed away. There's a proper gallery they've got. There's another picture of rubble. Yeah, same okay. caption. 
Yeah. <laughs> like Two more really... pictures of the rubble. Same caption. Oh, God. Why are they Another angry. picture of the rubble. Same caption. Why is it just a picture of a police... If there's... If it is... Uh, right. I'm, I'm, let me get my words out. <laughs> yeah, go on. If that picture of a police guard's the same caption, I'm about to press the bell. <laughs> I won't talk about the caption. However... <laughs> Don't worry about that. However... There's my house. No way. Did you Here's take this house? Here's some more pictures. I've had enough. <laughs> if I see one more picture of some rubble. <laughs> I think it's Jamie, you can pull that face. Jamie's got a very smug face. You can pull it all you like, but it's too much. Do you want comment of the story? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'll tell yes. you about the bell. Unbell. Unbell. I hope it's Jamie. This is the, an age-old feature where Jamie picks out a comment that someone made on the story. Yeah. Oh, I've actually got two comments on this. One's from Steve Alger. Where was this? <laughs> I hope someone took some photos. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, do you know what? I nearly was like, oh, you absolute idiot. Like, we, and then oh, I realised he was on our side. Yeah, nice. And then JL, who I can only assume is John Lewis. What? The captions on the pics aren't very clear. What happened? Yes. <laughs> I love people. <laughs> That's so good. You never get any, like, constructive comments to do on, on like, uh, local oh, press. No. no. But you need, mean, need to learn, journalists. Give us some information. You either get like angry people, don't you? Or like people that are being great and sarcastic. sarcastic. I just love the thought of after they put the second picture of rubble on, Mm -hmm. why have they then thought, I think there's nine pictures of just rubble (laughs) from different angles. It is mental. uh, Yeah. The amount of rubble is really annoying me. It's a good job you had a comment on the story because you were nearly, I was nearly (laughs) getting angry. This is tough, you know. Should I tell you why it's tough? Those comments were first class. I think it's Chris. Someone already had a point for that earlier. <laughs> Something about licking the glue off the envelope. Oh. Do you do that? Do you lick the envelope? Anyone? Please answer. Well, I mean, what do you mean? Yeah. How else do you make it? Yeah, sure. I do. Unless they're self sticking ones. Yeah. Why? What are you worried about? Well, I can't remember who, but once someone said, oh no, like, it's disgusting, I do it with sellotape. But if it's, if it's a living no, one. It's there to lick, isn't it? Yeah. That's the whole point of it. Apparently, slugs really like that stuff. What, the stuff on? Oh, okay. Yeah, like the, the glue, they'll come and like. Gob all over it. We've got to do some more research on that because that... we'll do a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, um, sounds weird. Yeah, mm. heard that though. Yeah. So, do you want me? Do you want to know why I'm finding this hard? Go on. Because mm-hmm. you're still thinking about Magnum ice creams. That Pringles, and also, as stories go, yeah, I don't feel either of them are as strong as we've had on other podcasts. Oh, oh, all right. Bring it down. To it. <laughs> Sorry about that. However, Chris is certainly on such a emotional roller coaster that yeah. I enjoyed it in a weird way is that what this po- podcast is about though <laughs> roller coasters I yeah. enjoyed very much the waving part of it and I enjoyed I enjoy want, like wanting to know more about what mm. he's got to look like and actually although I'm annoyed that they haven't got a picture of the gun um, Lacey I'm kind of like it's it's that mystery element again mm. I'm kind well, of wanting to see it it's probably complicated <sighs> I feel like we could have had a picture, but yeah. I quite like the mystery of it. Jamie, I feel like if that story would have been out, I think the captions were good. What I am enjoying about Jamie's is that he literally happened outside his house and he got extra news. You know, we used to always talk about being at the scene. Mm. Like it's actually happened. I know. Was, Jamie it was, right was right at there. a news scene. In the thick of it. Well, it's not the first time. When was the other time you went to, um, oh, the... was it the bench? Oh, no, no, it was, was the, the, um, that was the time we, it came. was the cycle path, wasn't it? Down cycle path, into yeah. Wales. Like yeah. about trees down the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, okay. I think I think I've got you. Sorry, Chris. But oh. I think the fact that Jamie was at the scene and I tell you what, it was the comments of the story again at the end because I was so angry at the amount of rubble pictures in the same caption, but then people were on our side. So it's everyone um, else. Yeah, they're all angry. So for the people that commented on that story, I am awarding the point to Jamie yeah. Congrats, for Jamie. local stories. Thank you, thank you. I'm recording these points in a really strange way. I put one to Jamie, one to each, one to Jamie. Why have I not put Jamie <laughs> two, Chris one? Hang on, I've got three, so... Wait, oh, you gave me a bonus one. For um, my, my joke about letters. Letter of the law. I don't know which one I've got. Give me the point. No, Jamie, yeah, you've You got letter of the law. Yeah. I got first class. You were second class, oh, so... Yeah. Anna said point um, each. I got one for second class. Actually, sorry, Jamie is on three and you're on one, Chris. But you've got headlines. Yeah. I'm only on one? Yeah. So the only thing I've had is for the letter thing. What about the slugs? 
I'll Google it. <laughs> and if it's true, I will add a point on to next time I'm judge. I'm livid. Okay. I'm livid. <laughs> right. Just remember the news game where you look scared. <laughs> That's I how it started. I gave it away. Oh, I just look what about the slugs. Put a point. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Um, we've got a little bonus. Uh, we've had a few stories Ooh. come in, so I thought I'd just mention some of our... Uh, some of our listeners who have sent in some of their favourite stories. Oh, this is exciting. So what we're going to do is reach into your bag. Ah, oh, so good. So what we've had, we've had uh, coming in from Simon, Woman's Finds Hat in Tree. Yes. Um, so thanks for that. Woman's Found a Hat in a Tree. It's red. It's got a bobble on it. Is that Was that around Norfolk? Uh, no idea where that was. <laughs> thanks, so Simon, for that. Um, that was probably where... So Nikki's found a publication around uh, Norfolk called Norfolk Nips. Ooh. Okay. So it's a publication about... Uh, rolling back the years, so about oh. historical. I thought it was going to be about nipples. Uh, no, 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 don't be. Don't read it. Where would you get that idea from? from that? It's called nips. <laughs> One from Becky, which I quite enjoyed, and there's a uh, pothole party. Oh, that's so uh, someone protested about all the potholes in St Albans by kind of having a party and just bring attention to the biggest one <laughs> that's been there for ages. I really, that is such a. British yeah. thing to do. Yeah. Oh, let's sarcastically have a pothole party. It is. Like, the rest. I love that. We haven't actually got the guts to do anything about it or speak to anyone who could do <laughs> something. So we just, just passively aggressively <laughs> have a party. It's so passive aggressive. I'm going to have a passive aggressive pothole party. I bet the police turned up and told them off for drinking and they went, oh, sorry, sorry. Go, go home. Oh, okay. And they went in, just taking all their bottles away from them. I enjoyed that. So we um, hopefully we'll get some more stories in from um, listeners. Where can they send them? Send in your stories, yeah, please. Uh, send them into newsbagpodcast at gmail.com. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Or that. send them to us directly on Twitter. Yes, or we can send them to us. Can you send that? Can what, you like do message? it? Can yeah. we ask people to send <laughs> on Instagram? Because I'm getting stressed out trying to do Twitter and Instagram. Instagram. So I've made the decision. We just got one because oh, I'm confused by Twitter. What are you said? We, we, are we ditching? Yeah. Right, okay. I mean, if you tweet us... We could still read them. We'll read them. Yeah. 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 Phil Reynolds, if you want to set up our Twitter and maintain that for us. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Phil Reynolds, if you want to make us a Wikipedia page, that would be the best thing that's ever happened. <gasps> oh, yes. the news bag wiki. Yeah. Phil Reynolds, I'm sorry we keep calling you Phil Reynolds and not just Phil. But he will always be Phil Reynolds to me. Yeah. It's time for headlines. <laughs> right. <laughs> Round nice. three. The best bit. The headline. So I am going to read out some headlines. Mm-hmm. I'm going to leave one of the words blank. And the people, <laughs> Chris and Jamie, yeah. are going to try and guess the missing word. Um, we don't often get these right. So I might decide to give some points at the end for a random reason, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Giant what and lifeboat crew walk town to raise funds for RNLI. Watermelon. Definitely not. So like yachts? No. Rafts? No. Yeah, because they save lives. Dragon? No. Ice cream? No. <laughs> Seal? No. Any more? Whale. Giant lobster and lifeboat crew walk town to raise funds for R and I liked the first bit um, of this story that said, "If you're walking on the beach in Cromer on Friday and saw a lifeboat crew in vintage outfits walking with a giant lobster, you weren't hallucinating." <laughs> Thanks. Put people at ease. Mad. Headline two. Absolutely disgusting. Fury as what are dumped on Thetford Estate? Drugs. No. Bin bags. No. Used condoms. Oh. <laughs> or just okay, all, all brand new ones. I'm just shaking. Toilets. What? Like the whole the whole thing? It's toilets, yeah. <laughs> Actual toilets. Um, month old coffee. I'm gonna give you a clue. Mm. You might want to think back to a previous episode of Newsbag where something else might have been left on the side of a road. Uh, of course, don't know. I can't remember. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Fury as sofas are dumped on the <laughs> estate. There's like, been a load of them around our house, haven't there? What sofas? It's like someone emptied their house and just put it all the, in the back of our street. I think people kind of hope they're going to like take stuff, yeah. don't they? Which is fine if they do, if they don't. Yeah. yeah. It's fine, but they put it out at night and then it was rained all night. Who yeah. wants it in the morning? Wet mattress. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to then take it, are you? No. Fly tip in, eh? Absolutely disgusting. All right, yeah. Uh, headline three. Norfolk's unique purple what named by schoolgirl? <laughs> oh, dinosaur. No. Dragon. No, Jamie's so eager to get dragon into me. <laughs> but he's big into dragons at the moment. Uh, not big purple. Hippopotamus. No. Got one more guess each. Shoot. Panic guess. Aubergine. No. You're the same pair of purple things. Yeah. Yeah, do you not think it'd be something that's not normally purple? Yeah, exactly. Great. 
Wait. <laughs> <laughs> the white grapes. The white grapes. Uh, yeah. But then it's just a purple grape. <laughs> I wish that had been the answer as well. But be it. Who so sure? <laughs> Norfolk's unique purple sea sponge named right. by Schoolgirl. Can't believe we didn't get it. So there was like a... Uh, I've not read it. So about a decade after it was found, this sea sponge, uh, I think they did a competition a school, to name it, this sponge, and the schoolgirl that won, she said so she's called it Purple Dumpling. Well, I've no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Let me carry on. I want to get yeah. this sentence out. <laughs> oh, God. The schoolgirl called it Purple Dumpling as the sponge is purple and looks like a dumpling. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, wow. You know what they say about sea sponges? They're the dragons of the sea. That was headlines. I'm actually going to give Chris a point because of the great thing. And I don't know if it's out of pity or like him being mm, a genius. Fair enough. But he's getting a point. Yeah, great. For the great. And no one got any others, so no one more points. No, no, I'm happy with that. I'll take a point for great. Still lost. Did I end that three all? Final scores are in. Chris, two. But the, what about the slug thing? <laughs> Jamie, three. <laughs> you seriously not? The slugs are. The slug fact it has not been. Alright, well, I'm going to come back. That's going to be my story next week. <laughs> Do slug, it. Slug crawls into letterbox and eats all the letters. You better hope that is local news, though. Uh, we'll have to find it. Well, I'll make it happen here. I'll put some letters in our. But then you've got to try and get a news reporter to report on it. Please don't do this, sir. <laughs> well, you're a news reporter now, apparently. No. You sounded bitter at that. <laughs> wow. So that's our first uh, episode of Series 3. Yeah. Jamie's nice. one. So we are going to. Um, when this is launched, yeah. it's not, I don't know why that sounded weird. Launched. When this is launched, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll put a little poll up on Instagram, shall we? See who people think deserve. There we go, Chris. If people think you deserve to win because of the slug, well, hang on. They can speak. Okay. Not, not deserve to win. Deserve a point deserve to then draw. To draw. <laughs> nice. Well, uh, what is on Instagram? New, uh, Newsbag podcast. At Newsbag podcast. Yep. Yeah. Email in newsbagpodcast at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that go? The voice came in there. <laughs> no, you've been listening to. <laughs> you've listened to Newsbag. Well, thank you all. That is all we have time for today. Our news bag is empty. Sarah, I hope you had a nice bath. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.